it's breathtaking. What can you say about a view like this? It's, it's just beautiful. You really have to see it for yourself. It's almost indescribable. I actually had spent five years looking for property for our family with our young boys in the Cashers area and couldn't find anything that had all the elements I was looking for until I found Lonesome Valley. We've never seen anything quite like this. We've been driving all around the state of North Carolina for 10 years. We've visited out west, we've gone all over the United States, and this place is like no other place we've ever seen. Lonesome Valley is the largest box canyon east of the Rockies. To me, it's very unique, and that's why the first time I saw it, I couldn't wait to get home and tell Alan about it. Lonesome Valley is different. In 1895, my great-grandfather, E.H. Jennings, came from Pittsburgh to West North Carolina and bought 35,000 acres and held on to it until 1916, and in 1916 started slowly selling it off. Out of the 35,000 acres he had here, he thought this was the gem of West North Carolina, so he kept 750, 800 acres here. It stayed in our family for four more generations until it got to Sally Benford and myself, and we decided we were gonna share it with others. This place is now a development. This is really a community that has become a family. I've made great friends here over the last five years, and when someone new shows up in Lonesome Valley, they're made to feel welcome the minute they arrive, and I think that's one thing that is definitely unique and special about this place that you don't find in a lot of other places. We didn't feel like we were joining a club as much as we felt like we were joining a part of a family. We moved up here and immediately started going to family breakfasts and meeting new friends and then going on long hikes with them. And now we find we're spending our family holidays with our new Lonesome Valley family. Sally and Benford and I were born here. My dad had a farm here, including a trout farm. We raised cattle here. We wanted to secure the one look here that we had grown up with, and that was a pasture in our front yard and we turned that into a meadow and put it in a conservation easement and there's 26 acres there. Out of the 750 acres that we have here, there's about 270 of it that's in, the, in green space which is available to all members here. The whole approach to Lonesome Valley is more simplistic. It's living in the mountains and, and enjoying what na nature gives to you. We're not a golf community, although I play golf and I belong to another club. But I like it because it's just a beautiful, natural beauty here. As we developed this property, we wanted to keep the farming aspect alive here. Instead of a golf course, we have a chicken coop and a garden. Instead of a uh, backyard fenced in, we have a stream and trails that lead to a beautiful view. A lot of my friends come up here and they want to know why there are no great big houses here. And I always tell them the same thing. I said, people don't come to Lonesome Valley to spend time in their house. They come here to be outside. And there's no better place to be outside than right where we are.